will the bjp help the government in governance at least support key economic reforms which will really push the uh, the country in fact on the growth trajectory further mumun i believe before the bjp helps which it would definitely if it is for the nation i believe the congress needs its own internal support let me remind you of one of the statements issued by the general secretary of congress mr digvijay singh about 2 days ago 26th of march when he said that he was not happy with two power centers functioning in the government in the sense that it has jeopardized the functioning of the prime minister it is a statement to the general secretary of congress but if there are different so, voices within the congress you say there are differences and if there are different voices no, no, within no, the bjp you say no, no, democracy no 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 in the voices in the congress which puts the prime minister in a fix is not just a voice it speaks of the policy paralysis that we have been accusing the government of and in fact digvijay singh has clearly stated the policy paralysis was because there was interference in the work of the prime minister by the so called first power center so i believe before they come to us for our support the prime minister should garner support within the party and the power center tussle within the party should stop all right will the, the pnn has support? full support of the party i think there should be no doubt on that account you general I'm secretary madam had the doubt these kinds of misunderstandings he has the full support of the party and the and the upa chairperson has always stood by the decisions of the prime minister he is going on with radical reforms and i am very happy and we are very sure that this country will get its due and uh, whatever reforms that are required will be placed for the approval of the parliament see we are a democracy and in democracy internal democracy and outside democracy are both a, a parts of the system so to say that there'll be no voices raised against uh, this uh, the decisions of the government within the party i think it's taking it too far and the bjp knows very well how much dissension and how much divergence of opinion there is amongst them and mr nitish kumar whom they are saying we are happily wedded he has not once has several times said that he is on the secular side and if they push a person who does not enjoy that image as the leader they will not accept him rita ji let me correct you in the sense that Don't we are also on the secular own. side we are also on the secular side ma'am the issue is we are not on that the that the country side. doesn't accept that the country doesn't accept you have to prove yourself no the country accepts your work, it through your actions of course it's they very seldom that the bjp accept. and the congress agree on anything but on that note i thank all of you for joining me on news night ms joshi mr patra mr singh and sanjeev shrivasta well it seems to be a bumpy road ahead for the upa and the challenges are quite a few it cannot compromise on the reform process it cannot compromise on the government it has to on the governance factor that is and it has to ensure that there is stability at least till may 2014 if the, that is what the intention of the upa is well here's now a look at what else is making news across the country